Robert Fife is Bureau Chief of The Globe and Mail. He joins me in the studio. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, I guess I'm just trying to get you to size up what the damage this does to the government. Two resignations. Another MP basically says she's not going to run again, more or less, for this reason as well. Uh, what do you make of it all? Look, uh, both uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott were star candidates for the Liberals. They put those two women in the window. They gave them important cabinet jobs. And I think by anybody's, uh, everybody in this town understands that Jane Philpott was probably considered uh, the most competent of the Trudeau cabinet ministers, at, along with uh, Chris Freeland. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she has stepped aside because, and I quote her, and I think this is just an incredible statement, because she's lost confidence in the government because of political interference in a criminal prosecution. Mm -hmm. And she says this, there can be a cost to acting on one's principles, but there is a bigger cost to abandoning them. Wow. Both Ms. Philpott and Ms. Wilson-Raybo have displayed what very few in this town were not used to, people with real integrity and principles. They stood up for the rule, they're standing up for the rule of law and not these backroom deals that we saw going on with the Prime Minister and his top aides trying to get a special out-of-court settlement for SNC-Lavalin. And they, they're saying, no, we can't stand for that and we're going to step down. We haven't seen that very often. And it's independent verification of what Jody Wilson was going to say by, an ex as you point out, an extremely credible source. I don't know how Justin Trudeau shrugs this off as an internal disagreement like he did with the Jody wilson Rebel well, thing. The, pri the Prime Minister had two options, it seems to me. He could have come out after Miss wilson Rebo's testimony and done an emotional mea culpa, saying, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I'm sorry that she felt this way. We're going to never allow this to happen again. Um, and, and, and instead, he, what, he, what he's decided to do is to fight. So Gerald Butts, his principal secretary, is going to be at 10 a.m. on Wednesday at a, the Justice Committee. He's supposed to go in there and try to rebut um, Ms. wilson Rabo's testimony. Good luck, because now you have Jane Philpott saying, I'm standing with Ms. wilson Rabo. I believe her, and I don't believe you guys that this was inappropriate behavior. And there's no way you can launch another whisper campaign about, oh, she's difficult to work with against Jane Philpott. I don't think that held true with wilson Rabo either, but the point is Philpott's considered one of the more conciliatory and cooperative ministers, is she not? Yeah, she is. I mean, I mean, I have, I've never heard a bad word about her uh, at all. Uh, and she is highly regarded in caucus. And we were talking to some liberal MPs who said, uh, you know, this is a big loss for them um, because she's so highly regarded. I mean, Miss Wilson Rainbow was highly regarded too, mm -hmm. but Miss Phil just had a different personality, and people really liked her. And uh, and she everything she touched seemed to turn to gold. Uh, but, you know, so to lose somebody of that caliber is a real blow to this government. I don't know how they're going to get out of this mess, but I would imagine that Mr. Butts is now uh, rewriting his script. <laughs> I imagine he would. But the other thing, I mean, it's, I'm sure that we should point out that Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott are very close friends, mm -hmm. but she would not quit. On over a, over this on an act of friendship. This is this is a career defining moment for Jane Philpott. I can't hear her say, "Well, my BFF's in trouble. I'm leaving this job." She wouldn't do that. No, she said that it, it was uh, she. Her conscience would not allow her to stay in the cabinet. That per, that thinks mm -hmm. it's okay to politically interfere to stop in a criminal prosecution. For on behalf of SNC Lavalin, she, uh, Lavalin, she believes that you have to respect the independence of the judicial system. Which, in this case, Miss Wilson Rabo took the looked at the independent prosecutors and said, "I stand with you." After she did her own analysis and said, "You know, we're not going to interfere. We believe in the independence of our judicial system." The Prime Minister. And the clerk of the Privy Council have different views on that. They think it's okay to interfere. And, uh, and clearly in the testimony, that's what they've been saying. I don't want to over-dramatize it, but is there a... Is, is Trudeau's leadership on the line here at all? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I think that would be pushing it too far, mm -hmm. especially when you have an election coming up. Right. Most Liberal MPs uh, will, don't, will not want to... Um, you know, see their government go up in flames. But, you know, look, the government's been hit very, very hard. And is there a way out of it? 
Well, maybe there is, but it's not the strategy that they're pursuing right now, which is to deny, 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 blame Jody Wilson-Raybo, have Jerry Butts go into the committee, try to beat her up. Why don't you just come out and say, what we did was wrong, we won't do this again. That would make put this to rest. I know, and they still haven't ruled out given this SD, SNC, this deal, to avoid prosecution. No, the, the new justice minister who's becoming a joke um, it has said that he hasn't ruled this out. And, I mean, I don't even know why they let him out. Every time he comes out, he says something stupid and undermines his credibility. And the clerk of the Privy Council, who also has undermined his credibility, uh, he himself uh, said that they haven't ruled out uh, giving a, a, a special deal to SNC Lavalin. Okay, I'm just curious if you, if you, I, I don't, I, who could have predicted this? But do you think there's more? Is this is this revolt or mutiny or whatever you want to call it? Is it got wider catch base? Well, going it, on? it it may, uh, Don. If if the government chooses to go after uh, Jane Philpot the way they went after Jody Wilson Raybo, there may be other women in that caucus who don't like that kind of treatment. After all, this is supposed to be the feminist prime minister. Yeah, yeah. It took him a week to apologize to Jody wilson Rabel for the smears that were made against her by liberals. So if they try this, this stunt with, Jody Will, uh, with Jane Philpott, there's, it's possible other women in the, in, the, in the cabinet or in the caucus will stand up and say, no, no, this doesn't go. Uh, the, the feminist brand is taking a hit, as I think you correctly point out. But the other interesting thing is Philpott was doing reasonably good work, at least people seem to think she did good work on Indigenous <laughs> services. And, and so you've got the leading Indigenous minister of our entire history uh, leaving cabinet, and now the woman who is trying to end delivering, like on ending boiling wa boil water advisories and that sort of stuff, and she's gone. And to add insult to injury, they put in Seamus O'Regan as Indigenous Services Minister, who was a complete and utter failure at Veterans Affairs, and they put him into one of the most important and sensitive portfolios, uh, and they moved Jane Philpott, as who you said was making significant progress on this whole file, and they put somebody in who's basically, so far, has proven to be incompetent. Hmm. I want to get your thoughts. Uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould has tweeted uh, a reaction to, uh, uh, to Jane Philpott's resignation, and here's what it looks like. She says, to the incomparable Jane Philpott, truly the mother of country, for almost four years our country has witnessed your constant and unassailable commitment to always doing what is right and best for Canadians. You're a leader of vision and strength, and I look forward to work, continuing to work alongside you. Love you. Wow. I mean, that's a, that's a partnership coming together, and I don't know, does, does Trudeau kick them out of caucus? I mean, how do you deal with this? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob, I don't understand. Uh, this is uh, new water, this is uncharted. They have handled everything so incompetently from the day our story broke on February the 7th. The story's changing one day after the other. Um, I have no idea what, how they're going to handle this. In fact, a lot of liberals are scratching their heads too. They're, they need to clean out that shop and put some people in, some adult supervision in there, some people who actually know how to deal with crisis management because clearly they don't. If I can, I mean, uh, well, anyway, I just, I just don't know how you can let a woman sit in the caucus that says I don't have confidence in the government, but I don't see how you throw them out either. Well, I, I, Maybe I you can see a way forward here because I, uh, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't see a way forward. I mean, it may be that they will go into, they'll have a meeting in a caucus and they'll ask caucus to vote, hmm. and caucus may vote to remove them. Um, in which case it's going to be quite, I would imagine, a pretty heated meeting, and uh, you and I would like dearly to be inside that <laughs> you meeting. You might find someone that will tell you, right. But, I mean, Wilson Raybould on the weekend said, I'm running again, as a Liberal. Does Justin Trudeau sign the nomination Well, papers? he s said today he hasn't made up his mind, but... <laughs> okay. Bob, a great story in the beginning, great story in the ramifications after. Uh, thanks for joining us to give us some You're perspective. Welcome. Thank you.